we proceed with diagnosis according to six stages. This time, we discuss invasion of wind cold in the Taiyang aspect. In this pattern, pathogenic qi has been so virulent that it has been strong enough to penetrate the body's wei qi. Cheng qi is relatively strong. This means that the symptoms and signs will be more pronounced than in the pattern invasion of wind cold in the Taiyang aspect when it's dominant. The symptoms are characterized by pathogenic qi inhibiting the spreading and circulation of wei qi. It means that there is a very pronounced aversion to cold. This is because pathogenic qi is blocking the circulation of wei qi so that it cannot warm the skin. This aversion to cold is different to that which is experienced when there is yang deficiency. When there is yang deficiency, the person is not capable of generating warmth in the body. This means that if a person who is yang deficient wraps themselves up in warm clothes and blankets, they can get warm and maintain their sensation of warmth. When cold has invaded the body, the person is capable of generating warmth, but Wei Qi is simply not able to circulate the heat out to the skin and the muscles. This means that even if the person wraps themselves up in warm clothes and packs themselves under kilts, they still do not feel warm. The stagnation of cold will also prevent the pores in the skin from opening due to the contracting nature of cold. At the same time, cold will block Wei Qi, which opens and closes the pores. This means that a defining sign in this pattern is inability to sweat. A priority in the treatment principle is therefore to open to the exterior, which in this context means to induce a sweat, thereby expelling the invasion of exogenous pathogenic qi. The headache, joint pain, and stiffness of the shoulders and the neck is due to pathogenic qi blocking the circulation of qi in the Taiyang channels. The stagnation of qi causes pain and discomfort. Where there is no flow, there is pain. Where there is free flow, there is no pain. The headache will feel tight in character. Wei Qi is an aspect of the lung, and it is the lung that spreads Wei Qi throughout the body. When pathogenic Qi blocks Wei Qi, it will also disrupt the functioning of the lung. This can be observed when there are signs that the lung's descending and spreading function of Qi is disturbed, and there is coughing and sneezing. This disruption, the lungs functioning, can also be seen when fluids are not spread as they should be. There will initially be a slight edema of the face, especially a puffiness around the eyes. This is in fact one of the reasons that people can immediately see that someone is a cold or is under the weather. The fluids will accumulate in the lung or they will rise upwards along with the rebellious lung chi to the nose, resulting in a runny nose with clear watery mucus or with eyes watering. There may be a slight fever that is the result of the struggle between Chang Qi and pathogenic Qi. The pulse will be superficial. This is because the struggle is taking place in the exterior aspect of the body. The pulse will have a tight quality due to cold blocking the flow of Qi. Etiology, exposure to wind and cold. Symptoms and signs, acute headaches that are tight. Headache will be located in the neck and along the urinary bladder channel. Stiffness of the neck, shoulders, and upper back, skin and muscle aches, aching joints, aversion to cold and difficulty keeping warm, aversion to cold, wind and drops, lack of sweating. This is a key symptom when differentiating between a deficiency and excess condition. Runny nose and watering eyes, facial edema or puffiness around the eyes, possible low-grade fever, thin white and wet tongue coating, superficial and tight pulse. Key symptoms are aversion to cold, headache and stiffness in the shoulder and neck, lack of sweating, aching muscles and joints, superficial and tight pulse. Treatment principle, expel wind cold, activate Wei Qi. Acupuncture points, choose from SI3, bladder 10, bladder 12, bladder 62, LI4, lung 7, do 14, and GB20. Needle technique, draining, cupping, and moxa are recommended. SI3 and bladder 62 open the Taiyang channel, activate Wei Qi and expel wind and cold. Bladder 10 and GB20 expel wind and cold. LI4, lung 7 and bladder 12 activate Wei Qi, expel wind and cold and regulate lung Qi. Do 14 activates Wei Qi.
When a person has been invaded by wind cold in the Taiyang channels, they should avoid eating rich food and should preferably only eat soup. They will benefit from drinking hot spicy drinks such as a whiskey toddy, hot ginger tea, or an infusion of garlic, cayenne pepper, and a ginger. They should then wrap themselves up in blankets or kilts to induce uh, sweat. Invasion of wind cold in the Taiyang aspect called this dominant can be caused by the following pattern. There is no previous pattern. And uh, this can result in the following Taiyang Fu pattern, Yang Ming stage pattern, Xiaoyang stage pattern, Taiyin stage pattern, and Xiaoyin stage pattern. Thank you for your attention.